In this video, I'm going to detail an example of flood management. This is the Banbury Flood Alleviation Scheme. I'm currently standing next to one of the parts of the Banbury Flood Alleviation Scheme, which was developed after several flooding events happened to Banbury. In 1998, there was major flooding that affected the railway station and roads and led to 12.5 million pounds worth of damage. Some flood management strategies were being planned from 2001, but were then soon updated in 2007 following further flooding to the area. The scheme costs around £18.5 million, but by protecting hundreds of houses and businesses, the benefits are estimated to be over £100 million. There are five major elements to the scheme. The first part of the scheme was the flood storage reservoir located to the northeast of the town. There was a 2,850 metre long embankment constructed to create a flood storage area. The flood storage reservoir has two passive flow control structures. These are designed to convey a constant amount of water as the reservoir collects rainwater. The specific design does not need to rely on any power supply or control systems. We saw road raising, so part of the A361 has been raised to, again to avoid any flooding to the area. They also put localised storage defences around the town. So there was other types of defences at the Wildmere Industrial Estate, around the ProDrive Motorsport Facility, Tramway Industrial Estate, and then Banbury United Football Club. There's also a pumping station at Moorfield Brook, and this protected 400 homes in the Grimsby area of the town. We've also got the Biodiversity Action Plan Habitat, and this saw replanting trees and hedgerows and converting areas into parkland, which enables better absorption of water. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of my GCSE Geography videos on this channel and subscribe for more coming soon.